Hey, what's up guys? Missy the back again with another video and today we are going to be delving into what I consider to be one of if not the best deck building games on mobile, especially when it comes to exclusivity on mobile. This is only available on iOS and Android and as always I will leave links to it in the description down below as well as a link to my full-fledged review of the base game itself and we are going to be playing Dawncaster and returning to it, seeing what's new, what's not, and how much progress has been made, but I'm expecting a lot out of this game because the soundtrack is phenomenal. The art style is super polished and really beautiful to look at. The UI is brilliantly designed. This game is just high quality through and through, and I'm excited to delve back into it with you all. So please leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below what you consider to be the best deck building game on mobile. I'm really curious to know, especially if it's exclusive to mobile itself. It's always nice to have something special that only mobile gamers will enjoy or can enjoy. Now let's get right into it. So let's visit the store. I know that they have had a couple expansions. It seems like there are two $4.99 expansions that add new zones, enemies, quests, as well as cards, I assume. And then there is a support banner to just kind of kick a tip towards the developers as well as buy the devs a coffee. Um, they have really earned those supports and the in-app purchases, I think, because the base game had a ton of stuff. So let's go into new game. Another strength of this game is I do like the classes. They're not super generic. They don't just give you three generic classes. There's a lot of unique classes here. And what's really cool is there is a skill tree twist on top of the deck building elements that you've come to know and love of the genre, where it gives it a distinct RPG feel where you're fleshing out your character and making them unique to only you. And that's what I really like. But today, we are just gonna start off with random randomized. But if you're curious to know, Rogue is my favorite. And look, I'm pretty sure we just got Rogue. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played this game. And I love it. It honestly deserves the love. So here we go. We're in our first, we have our first quest and we're in our first area. So it does have some light story elements or at least it kind of sets the, sets the, the pace and you can choose things too. So let's see, uh, let's do the tutorial. We're just gonna delve in and show you guys the tutorial. It's gonna tell, it, it's gonna brief me on it as well, which is good. So at the start, we draw their strength, intelligence, dexterity. So their colors, basically mana, and they specialize in certain play styles and certain abilities and cards. So we have two of red, which is a melee action. So we're gonna use that and we hit him for six. Lower right corner is the amount of turns. All right. Oh, whoops, there we go. So we ended our turn. Does two damage to us. The boar attacked. All right, we have a block. It's teaching us that we can block. So this is a very basic tutorial. Probably the one that you play right when you uh, get the game itself. But I figured this would be good for us to learn alongside each other. So now we have a gray mana, so to speak, is what I'm going to be calling it. And you can use any colors towards it, which is good. So we're just going to do that. Consider it like attacks that any class can use, if that makes sense. So there we go. We killed it. Victory. All right. I think I'm ready now. All right. So here we are. We get to make choices in between uh, encounters, just like you've seen in other deck building games. But I'm excited to show you guys the skill tree. So here we are, let's see. Uh, let's do the treasure traps or treasury await. You spot something in the shadows. Let's continue. You find gold. All right, we'll leave. Oh, we should probably click on these. Let's get them out of the way. Um, well, we haven't even been hurt yet, so we're not gonna do that. Let's climb over the tree. All right. Fortunately, it does not seem to notice you digging more of the roots free from its huge tusks. Let's fight it, dude. We're getting that sweet, sweet experience. So here's the daggers. Deal two damage. Ambush. Deal three extra damage. And you can hold... From what I remember, you can hold on... There we go. So let's hold on to that. Ambush triggers whenever it is the first card played of the round. So we obviously want to use that. So that was the first card. Let's read this. Gain green and conjure a basic attack let's see this deal and ambush wait and reset your ambush heck yeah we're gonna do that 
going to do that. So you're seeing kind of the synergy. So I'm going to figure it out. Obviously, I'm very rusty. But there's a lot of cool cards, a lot of uh, abilities that are specific to these classes, which I really enjoy. Um, obviously, rogues are all about ambushing and poisoning your opponents and doing deal damage slowly over time, as well as huge critical hits. And you're kind of like a glass cannon, but you can also kind of build out your skill tree and make them uh, a jack of two trades instead of just being one glass cannon where you just do this specific critical strike and stuff like that. So we're going to get our ambush, and he's dead. So there we go. Choose a reward. Let's see. I'm going to get a little bit closer to the phone because I have a very small phone. Deal three damage to eat for each of your green. Let's see this. Draw three cards. At the end of the turn, you lose all your health. No. Inflict three poison. We're definitely adding that. I'm all about poison, especially when it comes to action RPGs and stuff like that. I love just slow damage over time. It's so satisfying. Um, let's see. Let's just keep fighting stuff and let you guys see kind of the combat. So we have an infested dire wolf. Okay, we're going to use our ambush. We're going to use this to get more. We got daggers. Um, let's defend with our last mana and end. I just love the sound effects too. Like just everything about this game is just so polished. It feels so good to play. It feels so good to watch too. Now... We have the, the Toxic Salve. We're going to use that. We lost the Ambush with the Daggers, but that's totally okay. So he's going to get damaged over time now, I'm pretty sure. He's doing some damage to us. Alright. Let's Ambush. And then we have the four. We can reset the Ambush, but we don't have enough mana after that anyways. So we won that. Starts off really, really easy. Let's check out this. Inflict four poison for each of your green, then remove all your green. So you're already seeing a lot of the synergies and kind of the strategy using mana. You want to build co certain colors in a way that benefit your card synergies, which is really cool. It's like layers of strategy that you don't see in every deck building card game. Uh, we don't have snares yet. Conjure two potions to your discord charges one. Um... Let's just keep on, we're gonna go straight poison. And that's where the replayability of this lies as well. Aside from, aside from uh, like trying to synergize your deck, you can also synergize your skill tree too. So let's go, hmm. We're gonna double the poison on the, the, the target. So he has six, we're gonna hit him again. We're gonna do that and hit him again. All right. Poison. After playing a card, take one uh, playing a card, take one damage then decrease poison by one. I forgot that's how poison works. See, this is good jumping back into this. Um I like that. Oh, that's very unique. I totally forgot about that. Is that every time they use a card instead that deals them damage but also ticks down the poison. So poison's done in a unique way. We're going to use the daggers. He evaded it. We're going to use the daggers to reset. And then uh, we don't have any green. So we just don't have a lot of mana at our disposal right now. But we'll build that up over time for sure. We're going to use the daggers, get the ambush. He evaded it again. Goodness, dude. Got daggers. We're going to use that. We're just going to tank the hits. They're not doing a lot of damage right now, which is totally fine. Let's see. So it does seem quite repetitive, but I feel like most uh, deck building games are pretty repetitive right off rip. We're just going to do that and poison them even more. Every time he uses a card, yep, seven damage. Yep, he's just hurting himself over and over again. I'm sure we can up the damage that that does too from what I remember. So we're going to do that. We're just going to... All right, he's super close now. We can stop at a fire, I'm sure. So combat history, it's teaching us that you can check out the combat history and you can skip the rewards. So the tutorial is kind of on the side. I don't quite remember it just being like kind of little prompts that pop up and you can just play and figure it out for yourself. But I like that. I like tutorials that don't hold your hand too much. That's really refreshing.
So, assassinate, deal four damage. Ooh, killing blow, gain, ooh, at the next of con. Let's see, assassinate looks like it has potential, gain at the start of your turn. Let's do this. We need more mana, obviously. That's kind of, to get some more combos off. We're gonna stop at the campfire. Let's heal 20% and rest. And then let's stop at the shrine. Examine the shrine, transform a card. Let's examine the shrine. So let's transform daggers because we have a ton of, or maybe sneak attack. Should we do that? Let's, let's do sneak attack. So we're gonna transform it into critical hit and draws a card if you have evasion. It's combat, conjure a random arrow at the start of the turn. I don't really like those options, but I mean, Okay, we kind of transformed it. I don't know if I like that as much, but we're leaving. Getting, uh, I'm telling you, it's a curse. Whenever you're doing a Let's Play or you're filming a longer video, that's when you get all your notifications. So let's do treasure traps. All right, you make your way deeper into the woods and stumble upon a bush spotted with large plump purple berries. Let's eat that. The overwhelming sensation of sweetness seems to somehow sharpen your mind. All right, let's do the daggers. Oh, we don't want to remove that actually. Let's just remove, that was kind of pointless. We got rid of our good card, but let's do, mm, I want to make sure talents. Stun, okay, Stealthy Weapon, Progress, and Bounties. So here's the Progress and Bounties, basically goals that you want to do. I mean, goals that you want to do during the prog progression of your run. Auras. Some enemies bestow new abilities on nearby enemies via, via their aura. The unit giving the aura is marked with the aura, followed by the ability it bestows. Defeat it, okay. Ay ay ay, I play too many mobile games, man. I feel like I just have the info in my head during playing the game and making the content, and as soon as I'm done, I just dump that info and move on to the next one. It's pretty bad. <laughs> so we're just gonna go straight, straight daggers on this guy. We're gonna take him out as soon as possible. Piercing pincer, deal one damage. All right. I do like how it kind of presents it right in front of you so you know exactly what it's doing. We're gonna toss that right off the rip. Um, we're gonna use that, and use that, and use that, and use that. So we have super slight combos going on. Inflict two bleeding, oh frick. I think bleeding is how it classically works. Inflict four poison for each. Well, he's already got five poison. We don't really have to do too much more to him. So we're almost there to the level up. So I'm gonna play to the level up and, and try to do that. Gain one event, okay, ambush, gain two. Ooh. Choose one of three melee, then play it for free. Deal two damage, instead of strike cards, deal four additional damage this combat. So you wanna kinda get copies of those. Let's get the, the dash, I'm thinking. Um, Let's do campsite, we need to heal. Campsite, heal, we're already back up. Let's kill one more boar and then we'll level up, which is good. All right, so if we use this, we get gain our green, which is good. That gives us ambush with the toxic strike. He already has three. We hit that, we hit that. Not too bad. Slowly ticking away at him for just doing what he does. Okay. So, preparation. Gain. We're definitely using that. Um, we don't need that much poison on him, do we? Actually, it's about to... There we go. And then we can use these. Whoops. We can use these to get some daggers to do some damage. We're just straight up not blocking, to be honest. We're Like I said, we're glass cannon. It's more beneficial for us to just attack, which is good. 
So ambush for 10, a critical. I think it's a GG's after that. Boom. Give us that sweet, sweet experience. We did level up and now I can show you guys. Pick a talent. So draw one card, plus one card per round, gain access to divine cards, add a prayer card. At the start of combat, shuffle three snares into the opposing deck. We're going to do that. So maybe they got rid of the skill tree and now it's talents. It is good that we're returning to this game. Holy crap. I remember a skill tree that you add talents into, but now talents, you just select them and it's basically a passive ability. Huh? This is good. This is why I'm trying out this content is returning to previous games that we've covered. I list this game automatically as one of my favorite deck builders. I just know that there's no way they're going to make a bad decision. Spend all green and a free arrow. So let's, ooh, that sounds cool. Gain one evasion, uh, conjure two random arrows, conjure two daggers, gain one evasion if this is in your hand at the start of persistent. Do we want more daggers? I don't think we want more daggers. We'll, we'll start tossing some arrows in there. Let's just keep fighting stuff, man. Let's see. Um, we're gonna use that. Get two extra. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. There we go. I do think it does slow start off a little bit slower because you're leveling up, you're gaining those talents. So the deck building aspect kind of quickens more, but the damage and stuff kind of come slowly over time so you're able to get new cards and start experimenting right off the bat but it can seem a little bit repetitive right at the start because you're facing a lot of the same enemies and stuff but eventually a boss will pop up and you can fight them uh let's see i already looked at that we're just gonna dagger him get that 10 ambush right off the rip um let's do that we have two Let's see what spending a free arrow. So what does this do? Deal, deal one jinxed. I wanna know what jinxed means. The next action played has no effect and reduces jinxed by one. Oh. That's freaking sick. So arrows are pretty sick too. There's a lot of different build paths. We're already learning a ton and it's only been like what, 10 minutes? Hopefully it's not any longer than that, but let's see. We're using preparation automatically. We'll use that to get a little bit more. Withering touch, four poison. He's already got five. So we missed our ambush with the daggers, but that's okay. He's only got five. Well, whatever. We'll just throw that out there, even though it does nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys do that? If I can use a card, but it doesn't do anything, but my turn's done anyways, I just use it. All right, so we're gonna dagger him for the 10. There's our uh, our experience first aid kit, conjure two bandages. There are cards that you only use once or twice or it has a limited number of uses. Charmed, we're not gonna do that. Delve and play a random arrow. Yeah, I like selecting three cards, that's pretty cool. All right, we're to the traveler. Um, Let's just ignore him, we'll, we'll be rude. <laughs> Bandit Ambusher. Amb Whoops. So the more and more you play, obviously, now that we're experiencing it, we're getting new types of enemies, which is cool. He stabbed us right off rip. So we're gonna hit him with that. We got rid of our reset, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna hit that, hit that, hit that. Your next hit inflicts additional. Oh, freak. So I wonder if he's gonna start. Wow, we're destroying this guy. It's because we leveled up like an RPG. We've just been fighting a bunch of stuff. Eventually there's dead ends and it limits your choice to only one path and that's when the boss usually happens. We'll use that. Um, four poison. We'll use that and grab that. So deal two damage, 
deal two piercing, inflict three charm, deal two damage. Conjure a free storm arrow chain. All right, let's do that. YOLO. And he's already dead. Gaining that experience still. Hmm. Potions. I really liked the delve. This combat adds a snare to the opposing deck at the start of your turn. Snare, one use. Take one piercing damage. Upgrade all the remaining snares by one. Let's start at just tossing in everything, dude. Dead ends. Our blockades within the game indicate the event deck is running low on cards and can't be interacted with. So, we're getting there. We're getting to the boss pretty soon. Once we hit the boss, I'll end this playthrough. It's going to be a longer playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're still here, please leave a like, pop a sub, comment. Uh, it really helps with longer videos like this. We're going to use that. Um, let's do that. We're just going to smack him with everything. Yep, he had to use the, the snare. That's good. If we can, like, pile up snares on him and stuff, that would be sick. We're just going to hit him for the 12. Get it, get rid of him super quick. Sometimes skipping cards is a better option, and I've obviously not been doing that. But uh, I think we're going to skip it today. All right, Weeping Mother. Here she is. Here's the boss. Right here, our first boss. She's probably going to F us up, man. Let's uh, do a dagger. Um, hmm. I don't know what would be better here. Let's just do the snare. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do that. Let's do that. It doesn't do anything, but... We're at 44. They're at 42. Deal... F oh, shoot. Oh, man. So now there's Broodlings. They're they're interacting with our cards as well, which kind of sucks. There you go. Ambush. Uh... She already has poison, so I might dagger and actually block for once. Because <clears throat> I'm a little bit afraid. It's tied. Ne neck and neck. These thinking games, I, like, don't talk as much. That's the problem. Because I can't multitask. If you guys haven't figured that out by now. The snares are paying off, though. Dang. Let's ambush. We need that 10 damage up front. Preparation for sure. We're going to block. So we have a block of three, which is good. Yikes. Good thing we blocked. Good lord. Oh, my word. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Let's do the daggers for ten again. I think it's GG's, baby. Woo! Let's go. Our first boss is Dunzo. Choose a reward. So these cards are glowing. It's unique. You can only play one card with this name per combat. So with unique cards, you can only use one. See, it's just slowly adding in mechanics, man. It's just so well done. There's so many different layers, and I feel like my iPad's about to die. I feel like, uh, I don't know, that just the layers of mechanics, the way that they introduce them over time, I feel like this game could easily kind of turn off some people because it seems really repetitive and kind of basic at the start but if you just stick with it for as long as this play session has been you're already seeing all of the intricacies that they've included and i bet expansions just completely play off of this too and portrait mode games are so good but uh now we have the unique i'm gonna end it here because it's already super long if you've stayed with me till the end of the video thank you so much that's the only reason this is gonna get views uh we're gonna get continue getting support so i really appreciate your support thank you for liking and subbing if you have already and don't forget to comment down below what your favorite deck building game on mobile is i'm really curious to know and there's so many of them and maybe i've overlooked one or didn't give it a solid try like you may have done with this one but it looks like this game is still kicking it's still getting updates still getting expansions and it's just as good as ever i'm gonna continue playing this after recording and stopping the recording so i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys i hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy